I've got a special one for you coming out of Judges chapter 8. Judges chapter 8 is right after um, Gideon's wonderful victory. He has uh, succeeded. The Lord is victorious. Everything's going well. Uh, the enemy has been routed and destroyed. Um, the Israelites come to him. This is 8.22. And the Israelites say to Gideon, Rule over us, you as well as your sons and your grandsons, for you delivered us from the power of Midian. Now doesn't that sound like such an enticing offer? Gideon, being the man of God that he is, says this. Gideon said to them, I will not rule over you, but my son will not rule over you. The Lord rule over you. So he points them back to God. He says, authority and power, dominion, all of that belongs to God. Focus on letting God rule over you. But he makes a mistake. Gideon makes a big mistake. He then says, he said to them, let me make a request of you. Everyone give me an earring from his plunder. Now the enemy had gold earrings because they were Ishmaelites. So he says, go ahead and give me an earring. Doesn't sound like a big concession, and all of them agree. Each of them give him gold earrings, he gets gold ornaments, he gets all sorts of gold. He gets about 42 pounds of precious gold. He takes that gold and he turns it into an ephod. An ephod being a, uh, a chest, a chest plate of gold that can be used to inquire of the Lord. And Israel turns that ephod into something idolatrous. Here... In verse 27, Gideon made an ephod from all of it and put it in Ophrah, his hometown. Then all Israel prostituted themselves with it there. It became a snare to Gideon and to his entire household. What do we learn from this? Even small concessions, even small compromises can destroy us. Don't make small compromises. Let God rule over you. Walk in all of what he asks you to do. Don't compromise. Until next time. Bye.